Hi everybody, welcome to Quirky Girl. I'm your host, Makai Robinson. Boop, boop. Today we episode we're gonna make we're gonna make massive cookie bar. It's that Ooh. I did all of you crop up the grand cargo. So you you use a neutral bullet and Nutri-bullet. or a blender what? and you took three packets of graham crackers and you reduced them to like a fine yeah. crust? Yeah. Okay, what's next? You need butter. Okay, you're gonna leave the butter cold, right? Yeah. Okay, go put it in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make sure. And using a spatula and a spoon, do not use your hands. Oh, if, well, Mom. If you use your hands, you need to integrate this. You're going to use a spoon or a spatula. You can use two if you want. Whoop, whoop. Look at that. We love our tasty uh, utensils. But this helps to incorporate it. Ooh, is that piece of the paper right there? Yeah, yeah. paper. Don't mess up the paper. Itself. But that's okay, right, Makai? Because yeah. mistakes happen. Yeah. It wouldn't hurt you. Yeah. But what happens, guys, if you do this with your hands, the heat from your hands will start to melt the butter. And that's not where we want to melt it. So traditionally, we would do this with flour. But today, we're using graham crackers, which yeah. means that we could also get rid of the sugar that we planned on using because it's not needed. Oh, look what a great job Makaya is doing. Makaya, how long have you been cooking? A bit five days. Maybe Six you've been... Ten. Well, I think you've been, if we're being honest... You've been cooking for over 13 years. Yeah. Makai first started cooking when she was seven. Makai, do you have a favorite dish to cook? Yeah. What's your favorite dish? Maybe like loaded fries. Loaded fries? With gravy and ricotta <laughs> cheese. Ooh. Like poutine fries? Yeah, poutine yeah. fries. Sorry guys, not a fan. If you talk about me, right. I'm poutine fries. Make sure. Go ahead, just try to integrate nice. that as much as you Take can. Take the two spots of natural jelly. Yeah, you want small clumps. You don't want anything big because you want it to melt and get it nice and crispy. So we just change the consistency of the graham crackers to mimic flour so we can manipulate it better. And then, Makaya, while we're doing this, did you also do something with the oven? What did you do with the oven? I preheated it about 350. Why did you pre- preheat it to 350? What are we going to do with that? I uh, set the time. like. Oh, so you're going to bake this first? Yeah. I just bake it, I got a bit of chocolate. So, Makaya, when you feel like all those large chunks of butter are broken down, you're going to grease your pan and then put it in your pan. Yeah, I got wipe. The, I grab the napkin, wipe it down for baking sheet. Sure, honey, I'll help you. Oh, nice, Mom. Okay, make sure the bottom My is... kids, these are for adults. This hey, for adults. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm very embarrassed. It's okay. Uh, more anyway. <laughs> anyway, anyway you know we talk about crappy butter. You know why? Crappy butter is, is a, eat a dough. What's... Oh, clumpy dough? Yeah. Oh. Easy. That's a shower. So, Makaya, we're making this for a lot of people, and you're going to put that in a 13 by 9 pan. But can't we make this in a smaller batch? Can't we take like one pack of graham crackers? Yes. Okay. It is. Oh, All right, you ready to put it in the pan? Yeah, it's hot. All right, yeah. well, you, use your baking spray. You can open up a window for you, honey. Okay. Oh, God. It's okay. It's getting hot here. Adults. Don't make open the window to the smoke in, in the oven. It's not smoking in here, but okay. In the oven. It's just hot in here. I get it. Okay. So we love our baking joy spray, and she's gonna spray her non-stick pan. No, you can just spray it right in the pan. This is a baking spray. Just yeah, right in the pan, and just like that. Oh, she's very uh, generous. This is a pretty great non-stick pan. You don't really need to do this. Got white. But she still Why doesn't trust it. She just wants to get it soaked in to every corner. Things tend to stick. Uh, what else? So you're gonna pour it in the pan, right? Yeah. Let's get it poured in. And then you're gonna bake this for 10 to 12 minutes yeah. until it's like a cri- little crispy. Yeah. So what she's gonna do now is she's gonna use those two things and she's gonna spread it out and have the crust form it. And remember, she's using her spatula. Makaya, we're doing this so the butter doesn't melt in our hands, right? Mm-hmm. She's such a great cook, isn't she, guys? Makaya, since she's been cooking for so long, she also, she cooks desserts, she cooks savory dinners, she, um, she's baking this for her friends for tonight. Such a great cook. Oh my goodness. Keep okay. going. Can we get that corner? Yeah. This one? This one. 
Yeah. Okay. Can you make it flat like you did with the rest? Yeah, that, move it back. Well, that was a big clump. Yeah, we didn't mean that for that to be there. Okay. So I'm thinking like this, honey. Okay. Okay, make sure the club is not to stick. Okay, that's beautiful, Makaya. When you're ready, you can put that in the oven, okay? Okay. So this is going to be our crust and our base. This is what's going to oh, hold it up. don't forget. Oh, we got to take some of that out, right? Oh, Mommy totally forgot. We got to take some Sorry. of that out. Oh. Make sure. No, no, no. We got to take some of that out of the pan. I did. No, no, no. You did it. I no, did. stop, 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 stop. Where's your spoon? Okay. We have to take, look, some of this out for the top, remember? Yeah. Mommy yeah. forgot. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot to. Sorry, take about three sorry guys. It was we, we, are, we are missing a step. We forgot to take some out. That is? You'll see a little bit later, yeah, while we need it. Can you fix that back? Yeah. So essentially what happens is you're supposed to reserve a little bit of the crust because we're going to sprinkle that on top. And what that does is that you have the base of it and then you have some on top. It helps to make sure that the same flavor that's in the base is throughout your dessert. That is a very cool trick that I learned from my beautiful daughter. Yeah. And just making sure that the same flavors are throughout because sometimes when you're baking, things can get lost. Any big pieces, okay. Makaya, break it up with your fingers. If, look, go look in the pan. If you see any big pieces, break them up. Yeah, you don't want that. Okay, slowly. Good girl. And listen, guys, when you're baking, the fun thing is this is a lot like science. So you're going to have to figure out what works for you, what you notice. You may have to change some things. You may do it a little differently, which is fine. Um, for as long as you bake it the way that you want to bake it, we prefer this method, but it's certainly not the only one. Oh, uh, well. So put it in the oven. Let's rock and roll. Okay. Oh, hey. Be one more. Hey, more. Moving right along. All right, okay, so we're making time? great timing. Yes. Oh. Uh, 10 seconds? 10 minutes. Okay, pour the top. And we'll check it at 10 minutes. Check it at 10 minutes. Yes. When I bake okay. it, we're going to make chocolate. Oh, yeah. I'll be right back. What but are you it, doing? But no. Oh, yeah, yeah. But now, that doesn't last. Makai, you got time. Vanilla and cinnamon. All right, we'll get busy. So we got cinnamon graham crackers. Uh, wash your hands. We absolutely have to wash your hands. You're right, Makai. Uh, wash your hands. Okay. With antibacterial soap. So Makai is not using an apron today, which is why she's needing to definitely wash her hands and just make a mess in general. So, Makai, I like to use dark chocolate chips, but you could also use milk chocolate. I think the milk chocolate ones are sweeter. So, Makai is taking her trusty cooking shears, and she's going to put, we reserve some of the crust. Okay, half a half. Yeah, I'm not even half. Go ahead, a little bit more. A little bit more. All right, I think that's enough. Yeah. We'll show you. That's going to be the last step. Okay, I put it here with uh, six. No, yeah, no, no, no. Put it on like four. Yeah. Put it on the glow. Okay, good job. Yeah. So you have some dark chocolate chips. Condensed milk. Condensed milk? Okay. What are we doing with the condensed milk? You pour it. That's going to sweeten it up? Yeah. Or right, you can use your spatula or your spoon and get any excess out. Yeah, excess out. Again, head to make sure it can of make like gluten free milk. The milk should be gluten free, right? Okay. So what you're going to do is that she's going to keep this on low. And Micaiah, what should it look like when it's done? What do you want them to... Sorry. No. Okay. I'm going to wait for it to match. This is so you're a gonna bad work boy. Alright, you're going to work on the topping? Yeah. Remember, you only need like a third half, of half, that. Half, half. A third, not even a half. Okay, guys, we are making the mess and cleaning up as we go. Okay. Yeah, so that's going to be a topping. So as the base cooks and the base is the way that we want it, we're going to pour that, which is going to be melted chocolate, on top. And then this goes on last. Let's 
Check it out. See? Well, let's see how she let's see how she does. It's meta. So she's keeping this on low as to she wants to try to temper the chocolate a little bit. A little bit, not quite fully, because we don't want it to snap in this case. But we do want that condensed milk to be nice and, and sweet and integrated, which is why we use dark chocolate, another reason. Less sugar. You see how quickly that changes? Oh my god, that's beautiful. Not a silky smooth. But there's still chocolate chips there, so she's gonna work on that for another couple minutes. And then she's going to put some vanilla in when she's done. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. Good luck.